Hey everyone, this is Rich with Passive Reason. I'm super excited to bring you the latest and greatest MacBook Pro. As of 2022, this is the latest and greatest. It does have uh, the M1 chipset, which is a high performance contender to the Intel i7 chipset. It's also got SSD, it's also got ports. That's right, it's got the thing that they took away when I left Mac years ago. So I'm super excited because I don't have to carry around a little dongle. And this was the dongle on a really old Mac and it had the uh, HDMI, it had the USB-C's, SD cards. I mean, just an extra piece of baggage you don't need. So Apple has gone back to the MagSafe as well as the ports. So I'm very excited about that. Before we continue further, don't forget to like and subscribe for this video. Really appreciate it. We review everything that we can get our hands on that's electronic and we do it fast. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this unboxed. So first of all, it has a uh, it has an opening flap here. I'm not sure why, but uh, let's see. Now this particular one is uh, in the $2,000 range. You can, it's not an M1 uh, Max chip, so it is uh, the M1 Pro. The M1 Pro is sufficient if you're doing normal activities. All right, let's do this. Okay, look at that. Beautiful unboxing experience here. It is a little heavy than I like, so I'm hoping it's not too heavy. And let's go ahead and read some of the features. So this has a 16 gigabytes unified memory. This also has the one terabyte SSD. Now, in my link, uh, just make sure you buy the one terabyte SSD. If you go 256, it might be too short. This also has a 14.2 inch XDR display with ProMotion technology. That's just a fancy way of saying it has a high motion refresh rate, which is pretty good for a laptop display panel. And it's also got three Thunderbolt ports, USB-C ports. Um, so kind of a hybrid, just FYI, USB-C and Thunderbolt uh, have the similar uh, feel and appearance. Um, and I'll put a link in the description below if you want to get a Thunderbolt cable specifically. It also has the HDMI port SDXC slot and new to this generation is the MagSafe 3 port. That's new, it converts from USB-C. Now, most importantly, it has the better keyboard. So you've got that Magic Keyboard and I'm going to show you the difference in a second of the difference between the Magic Keyboard versus the old style keyboard, which is going to um, save your fingers a lot of typing. Now this does weigh 3.5 pounds, so it is a little bit on the heavier side. Without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox it. If I know Apple, they've already made it easy. They've got a little tab right here. Pull that open. And then, pull it in. It's got a tab for the computer. Ooh, kind of feels almost like a book. So it's a little bit heavier but it's got a nice small form factor. So it kind of feels like a, uh, a book or maybe a lithium battery. All right, so we do this without tearing it too much. Look at that. All right, this is silver. Of course, you also have the space gray options, but here is why we came back to Mac. That's a trademark. We've got the HDMI SD card. It looks like a full-size SD card slot. USB-C slash Thunderbolt and a headphone jack. We've got a headphone jack, we've got a MagSafe. So pretty cool, we've got both of those options here. Let's go ahead and look up here. We've got the power brick. The power brick does have the USB-C, so that is going to plug into the MagSafe here. So this is something that's new. It comes with a cable that is pretty heavy duty. So I'm gonna show you in a second what the old Mac cable look like. It makes it look like a USB-C, so now you've got We've got USB-C on one side, plugged into this power adapter. And we've got MagSafe on the other side. MagSafe is reversible, so the way you're going to do that is just going to plug it in right there. And it also reverses. That's it, we've got a, do we have a Apple sticker? Yes we do, it's black this time. Pretty cool, so if you like to pretend that your car is an Apple car, you just stick it right to the logo. It does have Touch ID and it doesn't have the, uh, the touch bar anymore, so they got rid of the touch bar. Now the uh, MagSafe battery is uh, providing power, 100 to 240 volts, 1.5 amps. 
It's a 96 watt adapter, so very powerful. That means that this baby is gonna get uh, charged super fast and it has a life of almost 20 hours, which is pretty impressive, okay? It does have the top screen protector. The main difference is that you've got a better click. You can see the layer of clickiness here. And we've got the power button right there. And then the, uh, the trackpad is a little bit uh, large, just like normal. You can right click on it. It feels a little bit soft. Okay. You've got the function key right there, and you got we've got back to your traditional um, traditional FN key. Alright guys, it has been about a week and I'm gonna give you my honest impressions on this Mac. And by the way, I found this awesome case. So if you like to stand your Mac up, pop open these keyboard holders, and then boom, you can stand your Mac up, make it a little bit easier to type. I personally don't see a problem with it. I do not understand why it has to be a large notch, but um, it's something that I'm getting used to. I don't think in this particular iteration, I don't think that the bezels go all the way to the edge. I don't think it's necessary, like, you know, like a phone. However, um, it is what it is. You know, it's a significant notch. It's about two inches on the top. Okay, that's number one. Number two is that just working with this chip is amazing. Like, speed, um, I can multitask, I can run Final Cut, I can even run um, Slack, multiple apps, Chrome with like 30 windows. Um, so overall, this is definitely an improvement to uh, to my Windows i7 PC. And then the other thing that's really great is just the battery life. Like I have used it for about eight days now and I've only had to charge it one time. That was just by choice, it was halfway. It could have gone longer. It's just the low energy. Classical music. All right, so let's listen to this classical music. So the sound is coming from the top to left and right, as well as the front. So it has a nice ambiance feel. The problem that I'm having is just that the bass is actually too loud. So I prefer just a little bit less. So I'm going to use the app EQ Mac and uh, I'm going to adjust the bass so it sounds a little bit less bass. Alright, so in the nutshell guys, you've got... USB-C compatible charging, MagSafe, you've got your ports back, you've got butterfly keys, you've got a beautiful mini LED display that is almost 4K resolution. I can actually change the resolution using an app um, as well too uh, called EasyRes. You have to forgive me because it's been a while, but I can use EasyRes to adjust the resolution dynamically. I've got a beautiful screen. I've got uh, a nice form factor. It is a little bit heavier than the PC equivalents of an uh, i5, i7 computer. It comes in at 3.5 pounds, but you are getting your ports, two USB-Cs, one headphone jack, you've got your SD card, your full-size SD card, your HDMI, and a second USB-C slash uh, USB 4 slash Thunderbolt. So all in a nice form package. So I definitely would recommend this. Um, not for the professional video editors slash uh, graphics artists, but I'd recommend this for the business user, the one that's traveling, you want all your data, you got one terabyte of SSD, you can go higher, you can go up to four terabytes of SSD, which is crazy. Um, and then uh, it's got 16 gigabytes of built-in memory, as well as the M1 chip, which of course has the graphics all built in, and it gets realistically 15 to 20 hours of battery life. So that's pretty amazing. So if you're a streamer, if you're uh, doing um, basic video editing, uh, YouTube watching, um, productivity apps like PowerPoint, you can keep all these apps loaded and switch dynamically using the M1 chip. And this is just the M1 Pro. This is the 10 core M1 Pro. So long story short, um, I definitely recommend this. I am excited to see what Apple will bring for the uh, M1 MacBook Air that's coming. See if the ports are back see if there's gonna be anything different. Maybe they got touchscreen, probably not. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video of the MacBook M1 
we'll call it the 2021 and a quarter 2021 M1 uh, 14 inch. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the video and I will see you in the future.